Howdy everybody, welcome back to Outnumber Barbecue. Today we'll be smoking a Texas style turkey breast. I have here a whole turkey breast from HEB. Now a lot of people brine these turkey breasts, but the package says this one is already injected with an 18% solution of turkey broth and sea salt, so we won't need to brine this. You can leave the skin on, but it tends to get a little rubbery, so we're going to take it off. Now just go around and remove any large pieces of fatter skin. We'll go ahead and cut off this mangled piece also. Now to keep it moist while it's cooking, a lot of people like to apply mayo. Looking at the first three ingredients on this Duke's mayo, it's soybean oil, eggs, and vinegar. I wonder if we can find something better than that. Soybean oil, sugar, and barbecue sauce. That sounds better to me. Hit like below if you like Chick-fil-A sauce. Now we'll be seasoning with a layer of coarse ground pepper. And then this Meat Church Honey Hog. The honey flavor really goes good on turkey. I'll flip it over, we'll do the same to the top. Now that we have it seasoned, let's get it out on the smoker. We'll be smoking this today at 275 degrees, and we'll be looking for an internal temperature of 155 degrees. Once we hit 155 degrees, we'll be pulling it off, wrap it in foil with some butter, and it should carry over to that 165 degrees. We'll be cooking with post oak today. Now it's been one hour, let's take a look. Once we wrap, we'll be adding some butter, but instead of just regular butter, let's amp it up a little bit and add this better than bouillon roasted turkey. We're at about 145 degrees here, so we'll go ahead and put the butter in and let that get melted. And here we are about three and a half hours in. We've hit an internal temperature of 155 degrees. We'll go ahead and pull this off, bring it inside, and wrap it in the foil with this butter. Now we'll flip it over in the foil so the butter stays in contact with the top part of the turkey. Wrap it up and go ahead and pour in the butter. Now all there is to do is just let it rest on the counter for about 30 minutes. Okay, we've been resting about 30 minutes. Let's take it out and see how it looks. That's a good looking turkey. Now let's slice in. Still super juicy inside. The combination of that meat church honey hog that butter with the turkey bouillon, that's really good. Well, if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm coming out with a new video every week. Thanks for watching.